let's say that you have a picture. Let's say that picture is the Mona Lisa. Let's say that you made a copy of the painting and you can do whatever you want with this copy. You can make it smaller, bigger, crush it, boil it, mash it, stick it in a stew, the whole shebang. Now, you take this copy that's been all messed up and if you lay it on top of the original picture, according to Brower's fixed point theorem, there has to be at least one spot or point on the copy that is exactly on top of the same point on the original. The spot or part can be any point on the copy. It can be an arm, eye, ear, point in the background, anything. We don't really know for sure what it could be or what it is. However, what we do know is that there's going to be at least one point on the copy that is in the same spot that it was on the original. Brouwer's fixed point theorem asserts that for such function f, there is at least one point x in which f of x is equal to x. That basically means that the function f is mapping x onto itself, and such a point is called a fixed point of the function. Let's look at an interval of a number line. Notice one of the arrows is perfectly vertical and doesn't lean left or right. That's a fixed point. The number at the base of the arrow is being transformed into exactly the same number at the tip of the arrow. No matter what transformation we do, there will always be at least one vertical arrow. A more real-world, three-dimensional model would be, let's say you have a glass of water. You take that glass of water and you stir the contents with a spoon. According to Brouwer's theorem, there's going to be at least one water molecule that ends up in its original position, even if it moved around during the stirring. But wait, what if you target that one position of that one molecule and try to move that one molecule out of place? Obviously, the theorem wouldn't work then, right? wrong and the reason why is because when you move one molecule out of place you're just pushing other molecules back into place and no matter how hard you try to move one molecule out of place you're always going to move other molecules back into place and this is a never-ending cycle the only way the theorem wouldn't work is if you change the composition of whatever you're using for example if you had a piece of paper and you made it wet and you turned it into like a paste that wouldn't work anymore because you changed the composition of the paper. It's no longer that same sheet of paper it was before. Or if you take that glass of water and add instant coffee powder to it. It's no longer the water it used to be. It's something else and the theorem wouldn't fit there. Although abstract in theory, Brouwer's fixed point theorem as well as other fixed point theorems are some of the most important theorems in all of mathematics. And the reason being is that they prove that equations have solutions. So regardless of the discipline of math, whether it's pre-algebra, geometry, algebra, or calculus, fixed-point theorems are crucial throughout all of mathematics.